Hey guys, welcome back. This is Kathleen Illustrated here with Jenny Yu. Woo! I'm back. <laughs> yes, back. We welcomed her back. So this is the second session that we've had with Jenny. I don't know if you guys were watching before with Romain, but um, we have a bunch of awesome illustrators all week. We are celebrating digital painting illustration here on Adobe Live, and Adobe Live is a weekly show on Behance. Always be here because it is so informative and amazing. So go to be.net slash live if you're not there already. It's the best way to watch us. That's where you can have access to the contest, the giveaways. You can check out other people's Behance portfolios. It's a good time. And we'll talk about the contest in a bit. But first, Jenny, you want to talk about yourself just a bit? If people weren't here yesterday, what's yeah. your story? What you're about? Oh my God, I'm going to say hi to Mark right now. Hi, Mark. Hey, Mark. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I'm an illustrator and environment concept artist for Mind Show. Um, I come from Los Angeles, California, and I've been working professionally, per se, for about a year now. Mm -hmm, yeah. So I'm still a fresh little nugget yeah. in the world. <laughs> a fresh graduate nugget. Yeah. <laughs> hey, everybody, and let us know if you were here yesterday or for the previous session. If you're new, we'd love to say hi to you. Yeah. I saw Kendall in there. Robzilla's in there. What's up, you guys? Jan Eric. Yeah, welcome back, guys. <laughs> yeah, so before uh, we get jumping into the art and before we look at Jenny's previous work, uh, I'm going to tell you about the contest and the giveaway really quick. So every day we have a different theme for a contest. Today's theme happens to be Rainy Day, and it's inspired by Jenny. So this is an amazing illustration that she's created above us. Um, all you have to do is use Photoshop or Illustrator CC 2018, draw an illustration based on the theme of Rainy Day, and then share your link. Um, actually, there's a link to the um, rules and how to apply within the contest tab. It's a Google Doc, just submit it through there. And you have until the end of this segment and you can win a CC subscription, which is a really dope prize, mm -hmm. I think. So don't worry if you do not win this time because there is a giveaway every segment. So that's four giveaways a day. And then we have all day tomorrow too. So make sure you stick around. Oh, hello from Seattle. Ooh. Wow, beautiful work. <laughs> Mitch is still from Utah. Yesterday he was from Utah, today he's from Utah. <laughs> so let's check out some of your previous work to kind of get people inspired yeah. for this rainy day. You actually have a Behance project all about rain and rainy mm -hmm. days. Mm -hmm. um, if we can hop over to the Behance. Perfect, right. perfect. Right. No, you're good. So this is the illustration that is like kind of the main image. Uh, for the inspiration, but there's also a couple others like this. This one's my favorite, and I think it's just because there's a cat. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone loves the cats. Yeah. <laughs> there's this great atmospheric um, nature to this, and we talked a lot yesterday about how you're inspired by photography. Mm -hmm. um, it's definitely very apparent here at the depth of field, and this one too, lots of movement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so many Seattle people, Peru, Brazil, India, Netherlands. Again, Cedric, hello. Very awesome. So we can hop over to what you're working on yeah. today, which is what you're working on yesterday. Yeah. Um, this will just be a continuation of what I was working on yesterday um, to give a brief intro of what, for new people, yeah. um, what I worked on yesterday. I was working on, I guess I'll just pull up this sketch. I was working on this sketch of a girl in a study room, mm -hmm. and I was thinking it would be like, hi, morning the light would be coming in from the top left. Um, so this is the sketch on the value pass. So um, this is just a personal illustration too. So I went ahead and started Whoa. blocking it. Um, yeah, I worked on it a little bit. Last She's like, I worked on it for like a second last night. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I'll bring Amazing. up what I left off on yesterday. Mm -hmm. right. um, this is where I left off on yesterday. Um, and I versioned up from there. So I was looking at this last night. I was like, oh, how can I make it better? Um, I think I opened up the composition a little more. Uh -huh. And then I boosted the contrast, the values. Um, I realized her figure, her values were probably too light, uh -huh. especially with the light coming in from the back. Yes. So I darkened that um, just to prep for when I actually put the lighting in and composite the lighting in. Um, and let's see, what else did I do? Maybe, sorry, you can step through, like, your layers to show how you actually progress from sketch even to this. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's literally just, like, a bunch of layers. Um, 
but I have a sketch layer that's on top usually mm -hmm. most of the time. I lower the, I guess I didn't lower the opacity for this one, but depending on what color sketch I have, I lower the opacity just to have it right. just like faintly there. Right. Um, so I have that as reference. Um, and from there, usually I work from, actually I'm not that systematic, but technically <laughs> it's just a work background to foreground. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, uh, so I remember I just laid in the background elements first. Um, so I have like this tree background layer and then uh, I was just blocking in all the colors and shapes that I was going to flesh out later. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, and then I blocked in the girl, so then that, so I can group the layers later, which I did here. Right. Yeah, so I grouped those layers later. And I changed her pose here a bit. Did too. you? I, like, I yeah. didn't even notice. Are I, uh, her legs I made more? her. I made her lean. Ah. On her. Oh, so cute. So she's more contemplative, I guess. Yeah. No, it's more dynamic, definitely. Yeah, yeah. I really like how you, in your words, opened up the composition, like cropping mm -hmm. out the feet and adding a little mm -hmm. more to the top. Yeah, I, was, I felt that was more cinematic. Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no unnecessary information. Yeah. Very nice. And somebody asked, um, this looks like it's all Photoshop. Did you start with a sketch? But you, you did. Yeah. You just sketched in Photoshop. Yeah, so I didn't start traditionally. <laughs> I just went straight in and sketched on a blank file. And then went ahead and blocked in the layers um, after doing the sketch. So, yeah. There you go. And people are very excited that you named your layers. Oh. Did you not name them yesterday? I well, don't remember. No, I did. I did. <laughs> okay. But uh, that's my friend Jesse, actually. Oh. Hi, Jesse. <laughs> What's up, Jesse? Um. <laughs> yesterday, Alice was not, or not Alice, uh, Sophie was not naming her layers. <laughs> and people, people were coming. very stressed out. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> It's like, it's all right. She's a professional. She's a she professional. Knows she knows doing. what she's doing. Um, <laughs> it's funny because I remember my coworker shared this kind of like nerdy reference of like showing like Photoshop, the Photoshop interface and like different ways people name their oh, layers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it'd be like, oh, neutral good. And like, <laughs> neutral you know, okay, good. Yes. <laughs> I'm lawful good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And they like, them. lawful evil would be just like crap, more crap, more yeah. crap. <laughs> like, so, I'm naming them, yeah, but it's yeah. not helpful. <laughs> Oh no, we're so if starting. Max is watching this. Thank yeah. you, Max, for sending that. We're starting with the nerdy references oh. early this okay. time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, it was fun yesterday. If you guys missed it, there's a lot of SpongeBob. And a lot of SpongeBob, Sonic. Uh, mm -hmm. Those are literally just Neopets. the pinnacles of my personality. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and continue working on this. Um, I guess to talk what like I added from this a little more, I, um, I blurred the top a lot more. I put it like a Gaussian blur on it, mm -hmm. and then I blurred the background a little more to give it more depth of field, obviously, and then I lightened the background. And it looks like you maybe added some warm elements? Yeah, um, I added a bit of, is it this layer? No, it's not that layer. You named it and it's not even helpful. <laughs> I get so, I get lost pretty easily, mm -hmm. actually. <laughs> um, let's see. So like the background, I added a little bit of a filter there, mm -hmm. so it's like you can really get the sense of lighting. And this is on Color Dodge. Mm -hmm. Some people use like overlay or screen, but I just use Color Dodge. Gotcha. Yeah. And is that an actual texture, like image that you brought in, or is that something that you made totally in Photoshop? This? Yeah, the the filter, as you say. Oh um, no, I it was just like something that I painted oh, in Photoshop. Oh okay, gotcha. And then I just went ahead and went hit gosh and blur mm -hmm. and like oh if I want that more blurred super <laughs> like, blurred yeah, yeah that yeah, bokeh super, that, <laughs> that bokeh effect <laughs> um, yeah so I went ahead and just blurred it a little mm -hmm. bit I don't know if I should gotcha. do that anymore so that's what I did with the tree shadows here and the trees in the background again just so I add depth of field um, and then I added this little uh, filter for the background layer because when you're looking through windows. Actually, I've actually collected some reference so I could maybe Ooh, show, show you guys what I was looking at. Show us your treasures. So, <laughs> my treasures. I do have a Pinterest board that's like dedicated to like a bunch of references. This but. looks like the Pete's in Oakland. Does it? Yeah. <laughs> Does it? <laughs> not it? Okay. <laughs> it's not it. Um, these are just references that I found online. So this oh, one. Maybe it is. Yeah. Well, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Um, so with this one, 
I was looking at how the background receded into ah. the background, obviously, like yeah. all the <laughs> all the values are like grouped in this uh, photograph. So the background recedes and then what's in the foreground yeah. is obviously like, right. brings it to the front. It has such a nice kind of like brownish, greenish, just yeah. overall cast to it, too. Yeah. And you can see how like in the edge here, it starts to light, yeah. light up mm -hmm. and the background elements are like more high key values, so mm -hmm. it's basically a bunch of like lighter values that are all grouped together. Yeah. Um, so I looked at that to see how I could problem solve the background. I was actually looking at a lot of concept art for Feast oh, too. Oh, look at that. Yeah, like I love the lighting direction for this entire yes. short film. Do you know um, if Pascal Campion had any hand in this? I had no idea. It actually. looks like I he forgot. does. Was it Jeff Turley who worked on this? I, I think Jeff Turley was like the lighting director mm -hmm. on this. But Pascal Campion is also one of my biggest influences mm -hmm. too. I mean, it's kind of obvious. Yeah. Was, and just like, cause he's so, he's very loose with his work. It is loose. Yeah, it's very yeah. loose, very painterly. Yeah. And it seems like. He's not trying to be perfect with no. his lines at all. Be but he is so convincing with his lighting that you don't mm -hmm. need to be perfect. Yeah, it's like he's more focused on evoking an emotion out of the audience mm -hmm. rather than making something technically beautiful, right. which also has its merits. But when I see Pascal Campion's work, it's like I really like I feel like I understand how he sees the world. Mm -hmm. And I think that's an important thing to express with your work. Ah. All right. And that's what I'm trying to do constantly. And improve on um so this is just like another window reference it's like what are little knickknacks i can put ah, on uh, yeah, that yeah. little lamp i yeah, see yeah, yeah i love this little lamp and also just like how that background recedes into the background <laughs> you get a shout out from mel melissa Ga. oh hi melissa <laughs> oh my god <laughs> so many friends i love the support that you've gotten <laughs> in your stream it's amazing I'm, I'm so honored i'm really grateful I hope my friends don't like start dropping memes or anything. <laughs> I mean, if they do, we'll just have to field we'll have to field it as it comes. Um, so this is just like another reference. I just love how there's like chimes hanging here. Yeah, like how quaint it feels, and I think that's what I'm trying to go for. Like how cozy and quaint. Like maybe just studying on the like mid morning feels. Mm -hmm. And maybe you're looking off, getting distracted. Or yeah, something. maybe. I mean, there's a lot of pretty stuff to look at. Yeah. So. Great. So if you, sorry to interrupt, but if you do want an actual link to the contest submission, it is uh, bit.ly, so bit.ly slash rainy adobe. Or you can go to uh, the Behance, the live stream there, be.net slash live, click on the contest tab, and there's a link directly in there. Yes. <laughs> do it. Do it. Mm -hmm. like, I'm so excited. Right. Our moderator said that we already have a lot of um, submissions coming in. So that's exciting. Yes. Yay. Are you excited to pick a winner again? I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I'm just going to keep on working on this, seeing where I can add more atmosphere, start adding the lighting, which is maybe something that people are more interested in seeing. Mm -hmm. Let's see that magic happen. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. So sometimes with the lighting, I like to like drop in like a gradient like that. Ooh. Yeah, and then I don't know if overlay will work in this, but hmm. it is a lot of kind of just playing around. Yeah, I play around looks a right. lot actually, mm -hmm. which is maybe not the best way. I mean, it's honest. But. Right, and Athena says, you're really an inspiration. I wanted to learn about lights and it's really hard, but you do them so cool. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, stick around, Athena. She'll yeah. drop some knowledge bombs on you. Stick around to see me. Mm -hmm. Just keep fumbling around Photoshop. No. <laughs> Don't we all? Yeah. Uh, so. And Jesse mentioned earlier that he thought you might use Illustrator more, but it's more your use of the polygonal lasso tool that yeah. kind of yeah, gives yeah. that angular shape. Yeah, I get that question a lot, actually. Like, uh, like, do you use Illustrator or Photoshop? It's a, it's Photoshop. Yeah, <laughs> um, it often is, I think. I just like it a lot better because it's like, it's, I can still work organically yes, in it. Yes, totally. Um, whereas with Illustrator, it's a lot more 
I don't know. You have to plan a lot. Yes, more, I feel. you yeah. do. And it feels good. Like once you get that plan done and you're just executing an illustrator, mm -hmm. it's like, yes, I know exactly what I'm doing. Yeah. But I also feel that Photoshop allows like happy accidents to happen. Yeah. Whereas Illustrator, it's just an accident. Like it just looks bad. Yeah, exactly. It's like, <laughs> you know, when you mess up an yes. illustrator and you're like, oh no, mm -hmm. I have to start everything completely over. Definitely. And yeah. John Philippe, um, if you go to the Creative Cloud YouTube channel, you can watch the recorded sessions. So we have such a huge library of um, older sessions for photography, videography, audio, motion design, XD, you name it, go check it out. XD. Mm -hmm. Have you ever dabbled? No, I haven't. Dabbled? <laughs> dabbled. Yeah, there's actually uh, a program called Adobe XD and it makes XD design really easy and intuitive for people who don't necessarily know how to code or develop things. It's much more visual. Mm. Very nice. All the Adobe programs that I've used thus far is uh, Photoshop, obviously, mm -hmm. Illustrator, and After Effects. Yeah. I tried to animate. Right. But After Effects is cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keyframes, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, man. My brain hurts. <laughs> <laughs> Too many keyframes. So, right now, I'm just adding some extra. Oh, that's too oh wow. Look at that rim light. Yeah, rim light. That's the terminology. <laughs> it is. Actually, I remember when I like discovered what that was called. I was like, what's that really realistic sliver of light? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a new vocabulary word for this segment. It's rim light. You should add it on everything. Yeah, I mean, like you can obviously, I pulled, I kept this reference here, but like in this uh, frame from Feast, it's like they use a lot of like rim lighting. Yeah, so mm -hmm. can you actually show like where a good example is so maybe people can, like maybe on yeah, the dog's back. Like on the dog right here, mm -hmm. the way it starts glowing at the edges. And yeah. I love how, like it's really subtle, but like it starts getting, it starts warming up the valleys here. Oh, Yeah, my and I think goodness. that's what adds a lot actually. Yeah. Like it's super subtle, but I try to be aware of that when I do add mm -hmm. any kind of lighting. It's just, yeah. It's all those subtle details. Yeah. And this baby's ear. It's so Aww. beautiful. <laughs> That's a cute babe. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, so yeah, just adding that on right now. And then for a glow effect, I think I showed this yesterday when I was doing my value pass. Um, take this Photoshop default airbrush um, tool and then expand it a bit. And then maybe add a few dabs of that um, around. And then set that on color dodge. And then, see it's a little too much, so mm -hmm. maybe I dabble that down. Right, and are you using the bracket keys to kind of yeah, size up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's so a great shortcut if you don't know. The bracket keys will up and down the size of your brush. Yeah, when I learned that, I was like, oh. Right. <sighs> It's like every time you time learn a new saver. Photoshop hotkey, it's like, oh my mm -hmm. god. And I know one of my friends actually, like he calibrated his pen so then these would actually oh, expand and uh, yeah. decrease the size of your brush. Uh, I just keep it like this because... You're just used to it. Yeah, I'm just used to it mm -hmm. at this point. So I'm like, and like sometimes I do like use like that or no. <laughs> or like I do, I guess it's not calibrated with the right click thing. Yeah, but, but what do you usually have right click set on? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. I know even if something is definitely going to be a faster workflow, sometimes I just don't like doing it because it doesn't feel intuitive to yeah. the way that I work. Yeah. Like um, setting up actions and stuff, and I'm like, yeah. I kind of just like doing it all. Yeah. I don't know. Is that weird? No, I agree. Heidi says the tips are really appreciated, so keep them coming. Okay. Yeah. Do you guys want tips on anything specific? Yeah. That Jenny can help you with? Like, I hope I can. <laughs> it's like, I'm just doing what I usually do. Yeah, so how do you choose what color that these little light blobs are gonna be? Um, it really depends. Mm -hmm. um, Cause they don't end up being bright red. No. Or bright orange. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I do generally go within that range, especially if I'm doing like a daytime scene mm -hmm. because those are warm colors and what it, I mean, I tried to explain what Color Dodge does yesterday, <laughs> but I feel like I would once again, uh, ruin <laughs> what it actually does. Right. Um, I, I don't think I can articulate it that well, but... We need some Photoshop engineers in chat to <laughs> explain the actual <laughs> yeah. mechanics But of it just dodge. basically does this really cool thing where... Let's see, let's set it back to normal. It's like... 
say you have like this nice little glow here and then you set it to color dodge it like filters through i guess something about like combining layers inverting something and then making the bottom layer lighter than what it actually is i don't interesting. know interesting but you can get some really nice um warm glow edges with that so i tend to use this a lot i know um the people at tonko house they use like overlay yeah um, they use like overlay masks and that kind of stuff so that's like another different method to also add lighting um but it really depends but yeah i use this a lot um, how did illustration work like this lead to a job in vr i don't know <laughs> <laughs> um i guess for one thing i mentioned yesterday uh um, in my work, I really like to just study light. I like to paint light, and that's really important, especially for VR, because when um, someone puts a headset on, you want to be able to lead the viewer's eye, and usually we use that. Our main um, tactic for that is to manipulate the lighting. Mm -hmm. So um, if that shows anything about my portfolio, it's just, I just like to paint light, and I guess that's what led to my job at my show. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. I mean, it, when you do these illustrations, it looks like you are painting a 3D space. Yeah, I Which will. is pretty much what <laughs> VR is, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I wonder if anybody in chat works in VR. Yeah. If you do, let me know. I have only ever experienced VR, like, playing a scary video game. Oh. I do not have <laughs> Did you get experience. motion sickness at I all? I didn't get motion sickness, but I just got, like, spooky sickness it was so uh, scary <laughs> i remember i did play like one very gory like mm -hmm. vr game and i got like crazy motion yeah. sickness like i don't care about these zombies i just feel sick kendall says it's awesome to see a stylistic crossover between your work and photography rim lighting light leaks shallow depth of field motion blur so cool wow that's such a thoughtful comment thank yeah. you so much yeah kendall's actually one of the um art directors here at adobe and oh, she wow. is an amazing photographer <gasps> thank you so much kendall yeah that's very cool. I'm honored. Oh. I'm honored every time. <laughs> yeah, Mercedes says, Jenny, I'm a huge fan of your work. Oh, thank you, Mercedes. So sweet. Hi, Kendall. Uh, someone was wondering how you can get smoother strokes when drawing or sketching digitally. They feel like when they mm. use the pen, it can get a little shaky. Maybe they need to cut down on the caffeine. <laughs> Maybe. Um, I feel like it's a lot of practice, honestly. Yes. Yeah, and the tool you're using, like a Cintiq, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's as smooth as your hands are. Yeah, 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 definitely. I know it. that when I use a tablet, like um, it's not as faithful. Oh my gosh, your mark. no, <laughs> definitely not. But there was actually an update uh, in the newest Photoshop where you can turn on stroke smoothing. So it's almost like Illustrator, where you can kind of decide how smooth you want a stroke to be. It can be while you're drawing it. It can be after you're drawing it. Uh, I think that's a game changer for a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Someone called that out in chat. Stroke smoothing. Mm-hmm. Pull string mode, definitely. Um, but yeah, I don't really do anything fancy to like, I literally just like, oh, that's how my mark looks there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Right. I forget if it was you that we were talking about this yesterday where you draw and redraw and redraw a stroke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the hair, the back yeah. of the head. It's, it's difficult. Mm-hmm. Gotta it's get like, that good, good stroke. But, I mean, yeah, the Cintiq definitely helps, too. Yeah, I agree. Directly onto the screen. Mm -hmm. And I do like using, I guess I mentioned yesterday, too, I like using the iPad, too, for just straight-up sketching. Mm -hmm. um, Cause that's, like, very direct as well. Definitely. Yeah, the more direct you can be, probably the more faithful your lines are gonna be. Yeah, and if it's just, like, mark-making that's, like, something that you have an issue with like just drawing traditionally mm -hmm. is like a really good way to practice that yeah i also think that oftentimes people's lines are more shaky when they're less sure of the line that they're drawing yeah or yeah, if they're yeah. drawing like too short of a line where they could have like a whole their whole arm involved instead of just their wrist right. or just their fingers yeah yeah, yeah. Mm. I mean, that's like one of my figure drawing teachers. Like, he would always like tell people, like, use your entire arm. Yeah. Like, don't just like do these tiny little marks. Mm -hmm. and, especially if you're drawing a figure, like, and getting the essence of it in like two minutes. Right. It's like, you can't just like keep to this one little. Spot. No, definitely not. I think I also took figure drawing in 
they would say like draw from your hips so like your whole whole torso is moving and then just your arm then <laughs> just from your elbow really wrist and then the, kind of the fine motor skills but like yeah your shoulder should burn if you're, <laughs> if you're trying to get something really expressive in there um, someone was asking how you turn off the stroke smoothing in Photoshop and I'm pretty sure it's in the settings or the preferences there it's should be a box that you can toggle um, uh, uh, it should be just under Photoshop CC okay and then yeah Gen not sure which one it's in it's in there somewhere maybe somewhere in, someone in chat can uh, call it yeah, out yeah yeah because I actually haven't used stroke smoothing before oh. so <laughs> There you go. If you have the new, well, this is, I think you're using 2017. Mm -hmm. So the next update should have it. Mm, I see, I see. Yeah. It's in the top bar. Near opacity and blending mode. Oh. Interesting. Opacity. <laughs> oh no, I'm lost. Oh no. <laughs> now I'm being schooled. <laughs> being schooled on live TV. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll figure it out. So you're still focusing on kind of painting this light yeah. in here. And sometimes people just add this later. But mm -hmm. I, for me, like I like seeing how it might end up looking like yeah. in the long run. Uh, so it's like I like to <laughs> like add the lighting like even before that, before even being close to finish, ah. which is maybe not the best way to work. But yeah. I just like so I can get a whole sense of it and really understand what kind of mood I'm going for. Yeah, definitely. I feel like if you do it so systematically and only do lighting right at the end, at least for me, I wouldn't be as creative because I'd be like, now I'm doing all the lighting. Yeah. It's like, how do I layer things and like let things happen organically? Yeah. I mean, there's so many, there's so many accidents that happen. Yeah. And it's like, Great accidents. Like, playing with the blending modes is like, oh, I didn't know like color, that I could make that kind of color mm -hmm. using that kind of filter. Like with this, I think. It was color dodge. Um, I actually added like a little bit of red to the edge of this oh, gradient, yeah, yeah. so it warms up. To, and, and I think I found that out through just like messing around with mm -hmm. it. Um, so I really encourage like experimentation. Um, oh, thank you so much. <laughs> stay hydrated. Yes, yeah, stay hydrated, my friends. Uh, Daniel has a question. Do you ever make brushes or do you download all of them? I should make my own brushes, but I download them. Called out. <laughs> I got called out. <laughs> um, like I said uh, yesterday, I use a lot of Kyle Webster's brushes. Mm -hmm. um, and then I download a few from a few concept artists too that have their brushes on online. And I guess for me, like my style, since it kind of relies heavily on just like the lasso tool like right um i'm not using i'm not my style i don't think is so dependent on brushes right i guess but when i do want like painterly things like the trees like oh maybe i'll use like this i use this rough anchor brush and you know dab that around um but other than that yeah i don't make my own brushes i'm sorry guys <laughs> <laughs> that's okay I mean, if you have the newest version of Photoshop and you have a CC subscription, all of Kyle's Mega Pack is already in there. So you can just use all those. You'll never use all of those. <laughs> yeah, there are a lot. <laughs> I I only stick to like four. Yeah, same. I have like a couple favorites. Deliciously Dry mm. It's one of my favorites. Guasha Go Go. Yes, yeah, Guasha Go Go mm -hmm. is one of my favorites. Pastella Palooza. It's a good one. Cedric says, Kyle's brushes are all I need. <laughs> Jesse says, wait, what? I've spent so much money on those brushes over the years. Well, I know that Kyle really appreciates your um, support. Support, yeah. yeah. He's a machine. He is like an artist, artist friend, creates tools for us. Yeah, it's so cool because, like, he's an illustrator too, so he really yeah. understands, like, what illustrators need to make oh, brushes. Totally. I actually I met him at Adobe oh, really? Max this year, and I was just so amazed by how willing he was to just like help me. He's like, here's some tips. Are you trying to get into freelance? Like, here's some things you might want to check out, might want to think about. And I was like writing things furiously in my phone. Like, what? That's so, so cool. kind. I love that about this community. Yeah, like everyone's so willing to help each other out. Mm -hmm. Right. And even seeing all your friends in chat, like they're here to support you. <laughs> it's amazing. Thank you guys. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, Adriana wants to know, <clears throat> sorry, does overworking an element sometimes make you build up some kind of stress or frustration? Yes. <laughs> mm, all the time. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> you definitely like get obsessed with like one little thing and and it's like somehow not working out. Yeah. Like maybe it's like, oh, the lighting here is just like, and I can keep going through like different color passes and I'm just like, yeah, it's not working out. Sometimes at that point, I'm just like, maybe I should like start over on <laughs> like, Maybe even just like maybe I'll like delete this entire layer and like I'll start over on whatever lighting pass. Right. But definitely. Yeah. I Anvu mean, says hello. Hmm? Do you know who Anvu is? Oh, hi Anvu. <laughs> <laughs> hello. Thank you for joining. Yeah. And yeah, if you guys are just joining, welcome. We've been live for about thirty minutes, so this is Adobe Live. It's a weekly Behance show um and this week we're celebrating digital painting and illustration with some amazing illustrators yeah. including jenny uh, we also have roman and corey and sophie um roman was earlier this morning and corey and sophie are coming up next in the next couple hours so if you guys want to stick around we have all of today and then all of tomorrow with these guys during each segment, we're going to be giving away a CC subscription. Uh, all you have to do is enter the contest. Today, the theme is Rainy Day, and it's inspired by one of Jenny's beautiful paintings. Um, so you'll just use the new version of Photoshop or Illustrator to create it, draw an illustration based on the theme, and then you're going to go either to the link that's in the contest tab on be.net slash live. It's a Google Doc that you'll submit through, or just go to bit.ly uh, slash rainy adobe. So that's like a little bit of a contest, but we also have something maybe a little easier that you might be interested in. It's just a giveaway. You're going to get free stuff just for being here, which is amazing. We'll probably do that in about 30 minutes. Um, so somebody who's been really active in chat on be.net slash live will win these three amazing over here, three amazing posters. Um, I think the coolest thing about these posters is that they were created live on Adobe Live. So the one on all the way on the left is by Robzilla. I don't know if he's still in chat. He made this awesome Mr. T illustration uh, with Adobe mobile apps, which is amazing. Then the middle one is Jingwei. It's a pool party. And then all the way on the right is Christine Heron. It's some travel tags, which I want to use as a travel tag. Oh, we have them right here. <laughs> there we go. Copies. They're real. So you will get this and this and this. Ta-da. And like I said, all you have to do is be here. Yes. <laughs> all you have to do is be here, be active in chat when we say the giveaway is starting. And that'll be in about 30 minutes. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Um, I guess another thing that I use is the smudge tool. I think I mentioned this too. But just to like ah. soften out the mm -hmm. edges if I want, don't want them so hard. And right. I feel like having that contrast of hard edges versus soft edges is really important. Right. And it's really important even just like traditional oil painting. Mm -hmm. Like uh, if you ever looked at one of like John Singer Sargent's paintings. Oh, yes. Yeah. He's yes. the master. <laughs> Literally. Uh, I get so stressed when I look at it. <laughs> I feel like it's too good. It's too good. <laughs> but he really does that contrast of like soft edges where he wants things to be a little more subtle mm -hmm. and hard edges where that's the focal point of right. the painting. <laughs> that cute nose. <laughs> it is a cute little boop. A little boop. Right there. Actually, I have a hard time using the smudge tool. Mm. I have a hard time, like, controlling it. Yeah. Um, so what I end up doing is I'll make a little selection on the edge that I want to blur and then just use, like, the blur filter on that little ah, section. It yeah. takes a long time. Maybe I should just learn how to use the smudge tool, but... It guess, kind of, it creates a blur, like a glow also, which I like. Yeah. Are you talking about like if you're to like just make a selection like that? And yeah. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah. I do that sometimes too, actually. And then I'll just smudge the edges where it gets the the, the blur meets. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. It's almost like her head just turned. Like she's like looking. Something caught her attention. attention. Yeah. Another thing that I like to do, I guess, with my art is like, I like to have like one stationary figure mm -hmm. and then the background elements will be in motion in mm -hmm. some way so yeah i could definitely see that with the rain illustrations yeah that you posted. like mm -hmm. i love atmospheric uh motion um i i watch a lot of like film video essays mm. so uh, i watch a lot of like every frame of painting mm -hmm. and stuff like that and what he does he like, sometimes dissects like directors styles and whatnot and he was dissecting um akira kurosawa's uh um, films and how he uses motion 
in the background, mm. like elemental uh, stuff, like yeah. like dust in the background or wind, oh. and how you can make a very stationary frame feel dynamic, mm -hmm. even with that. And I try to, I try to use that kind of philosophy in my art too. Yeah. So right, it creates like an immediate story. Mm -hmm. You don't know what it is, but it makes you feel something. And Darren says, just learn something new. I never use the smudge tool, always do the blur like you showed. Yeah, there you go, yeah, Darren. I learned I'm too. I'm glad you learned something. Mm -hmm. That's what these are for. <laughs> Jesse says, yeah, she inspires me to hate my portfolio. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's not inspiration. That's not how it's <laughs> supposed to be. <laughs> um, uh, plus, Design says, I'm watching this like a stream on your bigger screen, like with whoa what <laughs> on chromecast so we're on the big screen oh, oh mom <laughs> i don't think my mom's watching <laughs> uh, it's funny uh Kaz says jenny it's amazing how you use the blur thanks for the tip yeah mm -hmm. oh, i'm so glad people are actually like because it's for me i'm just like i got so used to my process i'm like everyone knows how to just you know no, do the blur thing totally yeah mm-hmm um, Olga wants to know if you ever work on logos, and if you do, do you have any advice? Oh. You ever been a graphic designer, Jamie? Nope. <laughs> Never in my life. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't have advice on that. I mean, yeah. I've tried making logos just for funsies, mm -hmm. uh, but I don't have any professional logo uh, experience. Right. Because, um, I mean, graphic design is, like, completely different. Right. Wait, so what are you doing now? Hmm? What was that? You like transform? Oh yeah. Okay, I press Control T. Okay. And then okay, let's say if you want to like, yeah, I'll just do a very quick like square on top. Um, if you just want to change the perspective of something, say you like have a little square, you fill that in, press Control T, and then you press Control at maybe one of these points, and you can just drag, and then you have mm. a par parallelogram. There you go. Yeah. So that's something I use a lot, and then. You can also press control to like mess with one of the edges here. So sometimes if like if I'm even just like working on something more organic, like oh I want the hair to be like a little more oops. Like I want it to swell more on the top, then mm -hmm. I'll like go like that or Whoa. something. Or like that. <laughs> <laughs> Girl's gotta bump um. it in. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite like that, but you you understand. Or like if I want her skirt to be if I want her pose to be more shifted that way, mm -hmm. then I can just maybe grab the skirt layer and then shift it a little like that way. And it's like, oh, mm -hmm. she shifted. Yeah. And sometimes like these little small little like edits that you do later on, I think they actually like, they help a lot. No, definitely. And I love that you don't have to repaint. Yeah. Just boom. Especially if your work's big enough, like doing those things won't really destroy any of your work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're not sizing up or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, someone said something interesting. Oh, they're wondering if you're using a Cintiq. Yes, yes I am. Yes, you are. I yeah. am using a Cintiq. And that's not what you usually use. You usually use a smaller tablet. Yeah, <laughs> mm -hmm. I use a dinky little tablet. <laughs> I don't know if I should pull it up again. But it's the job done. Yeah, I use a one by Wacom. Um, mm -hmm. It's just like, it's very cheap too. Um, I got it when I was in school, and I haven't really changed my tools since. I didn't start using a Cintiq until when I started working professionally, oh. when a Cintiq was provided. Mm -hmm. Great. <laughs> yeah. At, when I was at school, we had, like, a Cintiq lab. Mm, yeah. So I, oh, my gosh, I did, like, all my homework on those. And then when I'd have to go home and actually work, I was like, how do I, I forget how to use a tablet? <laughs> Oh man, so nice. Yeah, we had, we actually did have Cintiqs in our animation lab too. Mm -hmm. I've always felt like I was intimidated too. I don't know why. Because they're animation students? No, no, no. intimidated by like the Cintiq. Oh. I was just like, oh, it's so cool, so it, high tech. Yeah. Seriously. Uh, I'm just gonna stick with my, mm -hmm. I mean, I think when I first started digital, I was just like a very small like bamboo tablet yep. that my friend had given me mm. <laughs> for free. Yeah. And I was like, oh. Was so it the one that had like the circle that you, the touch circle? It's that's what I mine had. So. That was like I think mine was it just ten had years like, ago. Yeah, I barely remember <laughs> which model it was. It was like a super small one though. Yeah. Uh, Jesse says Microsoft Surface Studio is a dream. Have you used any other surfaces? Oh, I haven't actually. Mm. Um, I've been interested in doing so, but no, I haven't. I haven't touched that. Yeah, Have you? I think I've used it like once, but once. it was for like thirty seconds, so I didn't really <laughs> give it a good shot. 
Uh, Jesse, what do you like about it? Because I know that there's a lot of debate, like, is it worth it? Yeah. It's nice because it's like a full computer. It's pretty powerful, but is the input good enough, quote unquote? Um, Madhura wants to know, they want to start digital art. Which drawing tablet would you suggest for a beginner? I feel like I'm not the best person to ask this question because no? I got my first tablet for free from my friend. So but it was simple, right? Like yeah, it wasn't it was anything. Something, yeah, something simple. If a Cintiq is too intimidating, like I, I guess, I guess I do recommend the one I use now. Mm -hmm. um, I know, like Intuos is also like another model that's really yeah. popular, and it's not as expensive as like buying a Cintiq. It's yeah. like around right. three hundred. Yeah, I, I use know. the Intuos Pro, and ah, it's I see, I see. I don't know, like a foot over, a little over a foot, but the medium mm -hmm. size, mm -hmm. and it's like more than, it's the perfect size, I think. But I also think that any Wacom tablet is yeah. like a great piece of hardware. Yeah, I mean, like in general, like they all work for mm -hmm. what you need. Yeah, um, there's a couple like lesser known brands, like there's like. Don't know how to pronounce it, like Quion. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. My coworker actually bought one recently. Yeah, really, really cheap ones called Mono Price. Mm -hmm. um, I use that one. Yeah, like surprisingly affordable. Um, I can't say how like the sensitivity is. Do you, does your coworker like the Quion? Quion? He actually he's an engineer, so he oh. isn't able to dabble. I don't know mm -hmm. if Sam's watching, but my. There's Sam no Sam. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably not watching, but um, uh, yeah, he had bought that because um, he's just interested in doing digital art in general mm -hmm. as like a hobby. Right. Um, but I think like when he said he had opened it, like yeah, it, it works for what you need. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Jesse says it's great if your company will pay for it. So that's the uh, surface. You ripped out the garbage hybrid drive and put in a full SSD, and it's pretty incredible. The screen is hard to beat, and I like the pencil more than a Wacom. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. Also, yeah. at Adobe Max, I went to the Wacom booth, and I asked them how you pronounce Wacom, and it's Wacom. It's Wacom. Yeah. Okay. Wacom. Wacom. So it's like the Japanese Wacom. particle wa, and then mm. computer. Wacom. Mm, I see, I see. Mm -hmm. I, learned, I learned something new. <laughs> I learned a thing. <laughs> yeah, so totally recommend just bamboos by Wacom there cheap and powerful yeah cheap and powerful mm -hmm. don't need anything really expensive starting out i don't think yeah great and if you have an ipad astropad is a nice thing to use if you want something similar to a cintiq for your drawing right on it i think astropad's only like 19 bucks if you already have an ipad that's pretty great someone has an xp pen and they love it what's an xp pen i have no idea never heard of that one Please elaborate. Mm -hmm. I have a Yanova, which is like an off-brand of Cintiq. Mm. It's not the best, but it's like a quarter of the price, so hard to beat. <laughs> and people are saying that they use it o pretty much only in Photoshop, that they use tablets, mm, yeah. which I agree. I yeah. think illustrators are pretty friendly to just mouse or yeah. trackpad. When I was doing vector art, I was just like using my mouse and like, since it's just like, a lot of it's just pen tool. Mm -hmm. It's just like plotting the points. Right. We're getting a lot of uh, submissions in. Can we get a preview? Yeah, you want to look at some? Yeah. Cool. Wow, so, that's really nice. Yeah, I'm not sure if Alice and Roman looked at this one, but um, what? it's so spooky and cute. <laughs> Who did this? Good job. Yeah. <laughs> I love Who that. Did this? Yeah. I love the atmosphere. <laughs> yeah, the way right? the mountains just disappear into the rainy fog. Mm -hmm. <sighs> the shy rain monster. Love it. Mm -hmm. right. I like how this looks like a pitch. <laughs> it it like does. Pitch, yeah. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I love this. <laughs> what is going on? So good. Is it wearing a dog skin suit? I'm not sure. I love the character design in this. Mm -hmm. And we've got ooh, a watercolor. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. I love that. Yeah. Looks like an album cover. It does. Mm -hmm. Aww. This has a cat in it, so I coin. love it already. I wish I had that set up in my apartment right? or something. So minimalist. They've got David Bowie art. Where's mm. the books at? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at that. Oh. Mm -hmm. I love the layers of the colored lines. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Very nice. Girl in a raincoat. Look at her. Aw. Cute. She looks like my friend named Britt. 
Just <laughs> Brit. I love how bubbly everything feels. Yeah, right. Good job, Katie. And then we've got... Ooh, I like this. Oh, yeah. I love this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just riding on an umbrella. Yeah, nice, Madison. Oh, it looks like there might be like a little live. Oh, oh wow. This. Oh, is this on Procreate then? Or? Yeah, maybe. Oh. oh. Also, I believe that Photoshop Sketch, which is a mobile app, has a live drawing oh. capability now. Thanks, Adobe. Very cool. I love just the simple colors. Yeah. Like this kind just of a very mine. limited color palette. Mm -hmm. This is my color palette. I love blue, red, and Did you say anything primary colors? I'm yeah. instantly drawn to. <laughs> right. So simple and good. And then we'll look at one more. Let's see this by Ilse. Oh, very nice. Yeah. This seems like an editorial illustration or mm -hmm. like a... It would go along with some sort of story. Yeah. Nice job, you guys. Yeah, good job, guys. Mm -hmm. So keep submitting them, and we'll keep looking at them, and we will choose a winner in a little less than an hour. So the theme of the day is Rainy Day. All of these awesome illustrators have just shown you maybe a little bit of inspiration of what Rainy Day could mean. Um, all you need to do is use the new versions of Photoshop and Illustrator, draw an illustration based on the theme, Rainy Day, and then share the link uh, either to the bit.ly, so it's bit.ly slash rainy adobe, or if you're watching us from Behance, be.net slash live, just go over to the contest tab and there's a link to the submission form there. Yeah. Great job, you guys. I'm going to say bye to my friend Jesse. Bye, Jesse. Bye, Jesse. <laughs> thanks, thanks for joining. For, yeah, thanks for being so supportive <laughs> yeah. and not sending too many memes. <laughs> <laughs>
package designer. Like, uh, <laughs> what? That's great. That's so specific. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if she only does crab meat, but that's what she was talking about. <laughs> uh, Gloren is a car designer. Wow. Wow, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. Magazine art director, in-house designer at an aerospace company. What? Mm-hmm. Um, These people are too advanced for me. I'm like, I'm just drawing this anime girl. We have, like, card designers here. Yeah, lots of art directors, Mm. science motion graphics animator working on coral reef animations. Mm. Wow. That's amazing. Freelancers, illustrator at Fusion TV. Oh, awesome, Genevieve. Yeah. Um, Hobbyists, just do art for fun. Oh, that's good. Oh, there's Jan Eric. There you go. Um, Another art director. Busy with work at the agency, so they wish they could enter the contest, but no such luck. Mm. Um, Darren is animating a video for an interior design company. Oh, wow. There you go. You're all amazing. I agree, Adobe Live team. All 98 of you. Someone's a retoucher, 3D artist. Oh, Yuri just got their first internship. Oh, congratulations. Yeah. Oh, that's so exciting. Yeah, what is your internship like? We'd love to hear about it. Oh my god, I remember my first internship. <laughs> oh, it yeah? was like a very like small graphic design like internship because mm-hmm. then I, at that point I was just like, I need a job. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Was it like around where you were living or did you have to move for it? Oh, it was um, it was in Culver City, so it was around my area, mm-hmm. like Los Angeles. Right. Um, but with traffic in Los Angeles, it was quite crazy. Nothing is close. To, nothing yeah. is close. If something takes 15 minutes to drive, it always ends up being like. 45 minutes or an hour at least oh my goodness that's crazy i know i had a couple like small i i didn't think of them as internships because they were like jobs but Mm -hmm. looking back i'm like definitely an internship (laughs) i worked on um activity books that were based for homeschool kids about thomas edison oh wow it was like such a specific niche yeah yeah (laughs) It was it sounds fun, like though. a cool project, though. Yeah, I was like, I got to just look at a bunch of technical patent drawings and, like, make illustrations about them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Randy is a graphic designer in the music niche. Oh. Hey, so, like, what album kind of covers? Yeah. Or, yeah. Tell us more, Randy. Katie is an animation student. Awesome, Katie. And Caesar wants to know if anyone took part in uh, Inktober. Did you? Are you oh. an inktober I did not take part in Inktober. Ooh. I feel so ashamed of myself. Me too. I, like, hid all of October. Yeah. Like, nobody looked at me. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm not. I don't know. I've never gotten into it either. Mm-hmm. And uh, I guess, like, sometimes I do do, like, ink drawings and stuff. But, yeah. like, sometimes there's, like, some art that I like to just keep to myself. Yeah. Like, I don't want to show people. Right. Because um, it's just like, oh, this is for my personal stuff. Yeah. It's for my personal self. And that's like me with like traditional stuff too. It's mm-hmm. like portrait drawings and stuff. Right. I tend to keep that just in my sketchbook. And I think it's important too because, I mean, like with social media, there's always this pressure to like always like have to like keep posting yes. and like keep showing that you are relevant. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's really important to like just do things for yourself things for yourself too right I was chatting yesterday with Roman and Sophie about that exact thing like I was really thriving off of this idea that if I posted something on Instagram like I'm like people are gonna love this yeah and it's gonna make yeah, me yeah. feel so good yeah and then I started to feel this pressure like it's like just waiting for the likes to roll right in. like if I post this people are gonna look at it and like they're gonna think things and I don't yeah. want that pressure so I was telling them I've been like kind of radio silent for almost about a year like on my social media like not really posting anything just kind of existing and And I I felt so guilty but I think it's been good for me yeah I think it's necessary Mm -hmm. too sometimes because it's like I don't know it's good for your mental health yeah right definitely Inktober is great I decided to participate in it this year but didn't manage to complete the whole month so you're catching up at least you're catching up Darina yeah, That's at least you're catching up, because mm-hmm. I didn't even try. <laughs> right. Yeah, last year I actually participated, but I didn't do traditional illustrations. I did, like, they looked like ink illustrations, but they were little animated GIFs. Mm, um, that's really cool. Yeah, it was really fun, and I thought the, the key was finding something that I wanted to draw every day, so I, like, based them yeah. off of a podcast that I really liked. Oh, what podcast? Lore. 
Oh, I don't know. It's like spooky stories. Oh, so you was... like spooky ones? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. I mean, I like all kinds of podcasts. Do you but... listen to like the black tapes? Or... Mm-hmm. Oh, that's also a spooky one. It's about paranormal stuff. Ooh. And like, I listen to it and I was like, I, I can't. Yeah. Um, Too much spook. Do yeah. you like uh, Limetown? Have you heard of Limetown? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, is that the one about like... The new- city, the city where it's like an experimental city and like 300 people disappeared and like... Yeah. Trying to like... That one was kind of intense. I don't think I finished it. I think I just started it because it sounds familiar, but I don't. Mm. Don't I listen to a lot of true crime, mm. which is kind of hard on my soul, but I, I do it. Yeah, I think <laughs> a similar one would be like Sword and Scale. I yes. Guess. Yeah. Yeah. It's like that one's really scary. That one's like, cause it also cause it's like real life, mm-hmm. so it's like, oh my god, these are, this like really sheds insight to like the horrors of humanity. Right. And like what humans are really capable of. Definitely. But we don't have to talk about that right yeah. now. <laughs> Anyways, someone Back was, to the contest. Yeah. Someone was asking about the best way to add animation to illustration. Uh, I mean, I've only tried to do it with a few thing, uh, a few of my illustrations, but again, I've used After Effects mm-hmm. and I've used Photoshop for that. So I know I haven't animated stuff in a while, but I know that like if you pull up this timeline tab, you can start creating like a frame by frame animation, yes. and I know a lot of people use that. Um, That's my favorite, but not yeah. the timeline, the actual frames. Oh, I, like I see. Mm-hmm. You're OG. I, I love the slow and steady. <laughs> so it takes up so much time. I don't know why I like it. <laughs> I'm crazy. I guess that's no. It. <laughs> Um, um, Susan said that they worked with a quill pen for Inktober. Messy but fulfilling. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Wow, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. Definitely. And someone was wondering, what is your reference for this illustration? Um, I guess you show you the reference. It's a very loose have. reference because it's not like you yeah, it's have not been exact. looking at one thing. I just like, yeah, I actually like look at a lot of different references and like calculate that in mm-hmm. my brain or like beep, pro- beep, beep. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but and like start like getting a sense of what I want here. So this is like a reference of a cafe that I found. I guess Pete's in Oakland, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> potentially. <laughs> um, and I was looking at a lot of like lighting keys for the mm-hmm. short film feast. Um, and I also like these little little sun sun flare things. Oh, yeah. Those are always really nice accents to yeah. add. I usually add those at the end end yeah, yeah. of everything. Because they're very, they're like very specific mm-hmm. little assets. But they're very subtle too, but mm-hmm. uh. It's like sun this? confetti. Yeah, sun <laughs> confetti. I should sell that. Yeah, there it you go. Sounds like an eyeshadow palette color Ooh. or something. Trademarked, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, these are references that I've been looking at. Um, it's definitely influenced study. the piece, I think so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I always, yeah, I mean, for one thing, working at Mind Show, um, I don't know if Mark's still watching, but Mark always, like, re- like would remind me, like, use reference, like, always research. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, that really helped me, like, develop my research skills and just, like, become a better artist because, like, basing things on real life and then doing your own interpretation on it, I think, is really important. Yeah. Um, Definitely. And I think something really good about your reference is, and it shows that you've researched a lot, is you're not finding one piece of reference that has everything you want in it. Yeah. You like, find these little nuanced things. Like, I like how high key the background is in this one, and the little doodads in this one. <laughs> the little doodads. Those doodads. <laughs> yeah. And I don't know if you guys know this, but it's halfway through the stream and that means oh that's crazy oh my god that past hour just went by so quickly <laughs> yeah little heads up for you jenny but also okay. it's time for a giveaway dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. i know so we're announcing the giveaway get some hype going in chat yesterday the chat was flying so we want to see that chat fly with some hype um all you have to do is be watching us on be.net slash live that's where we have these weekly events um best link to watch us on you can chat you can check out the contest you can click on other people's behance portfolios and grow your community so yeah the hype is going crazy the hype yeah i know the hype is real and somebody in chat i just saw as it whizzed by said that they want the middle one but the cool thing about this contest is if you win you win all All three of them (laughs) yes so the one all the way on the left was created by rob zilla here live on stream um with i think it's probably illustrator draw it's a mobile app 
really cool. Middle one is by Jing Wei, amazing pool party illustration. And on the right is Christine Heron's piece of travel tags. <laughs> Miriam is really excited. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> More hype, guys. Right. More hype. So all you have to do is be active in chat, say something, maybe say hello if you haven't said hello yet. And we're going to pick a random winner that I'll let you know as soon as the magic happens. Woohoo! Everyone's so excited. Um, more hype. Yeah. More hype. <laughs> What's up, Finn? Welcome. <laughs> cool <laughs> party. Yeah. Cool party on the online chat. Woohoo! It's been so weird. We just moved to the Bay Area recently, and it started to get cold. And oh, I was like, yeah, yeah. I forgot that California got cold. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised. How's it down in LA? Oh, it's never cold. No. <laughs> like, never honestly. Ever. It makes me really sad because I really actually, I really like cloudy days oh, and yeah. like cold weather, like mm -hmm. Seattle weather. Yeah, or um, here. Yeah. It's just, yeah. <laughs> that expensive cloudy yes, weather. Yes, the cost of living is quite high here. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, like, you don't really get the sense of seasons in L.A. It's, like, mm -hmm. sunny and then sometimes cloudy. Right. And sometimes rain. Yeah. But it's really nice when it is those days. But yeah. also people that have never experienced other seasons, they, like, freak out. Yeah. They're like, I can't go outside. It's raining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, excuse me? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> well, it's the hype is still spam real. central here. Yeah. Keep it going. Move to the Midwest. Laura, it's a good idea. You get all of the seasons. Any Midwesterners in chat? Holla. Are you from Midwest? I am. Oh, I'm from Ohio. Oh, I see. OH? Buckeyes? Football? Anybody? <laughs> no? <laughs> no, just more spam. All right, that's fine. All right, so we have a winner of the giveaway. Are you guys ready? Because the hype is still growing. It's exciting. The winner of the giveaway is... Jenny, do you want to announce? Gloria. I'm so sorry if I butcher your last name. Soria? Gloria, you won! Yay! Congrats, Gloria! Hurrah! <laughs> I was like, Jenny, you want to say that? <laughs> oh, it's not Gloria. It's Glorin. Glorin, my bad. <laughs> oh, Glorin has been with us um, for the last two days. That's amazing. So glad you won, Glorin. <laughs> Gloria. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Yay! So congrats. 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 <laughs> congrats, Lauren. Congratulations, Lauren. And I apologize again if I did not pronounce that correctly. Yay! So glad you won. Um, if you guys are sad that you lost, do not worry. You didn't lose. You still have more opportunities to win. So we give away three prints every stream. Um, so there's two more streams today. So we have Corey's stream and Sophie's stream at the end of the day. And then we have all day tomorrow. So that's four more chances tomorrow also. All you have to do is be in chat at be.net slash live and you can win. And while we're talking about the contest or the giveaway, we can shoot on over to the contest. If you guys don't know or if you're just checking in, we are running three different contests uh, for each day. So yesterday the theme was bike. And today the theme is rainy day. Don't know what the theme is for tomorrow. But like the giveaway, you have one chance every single stream to win. All you have to do is use Photoshop CC or Illustrator CC 2018, make an illustration around the theme of the day, which is rainy day today. And then you're going to share the link either via the link that you see on screen. It's bit.ly slash rainy Adobe. Or if you're watching us at be.net slash live, click the contest tab and the link is there. We've all already had so many amazing submissions just during this stream. So keep them coming. Yeah. Come on. We'll pick one in about a little less than 40 minutes. So you have some time. Is Jenny going to turn this lovely art into a giveaway? Oh. Maybe. Oh. In the future. Oh. Uh -huh. Idea. <laughs> Thank <Ding>. you. <laughs> Thank you, Linda. Yeah. Uh, Darren says they almost accidentally did yesterday's theme because you logged in too early and didn't realize that it was like... <laughs> That'd be Yikes. funny if we did get like a bike submission. Mm -hmm. It's like, great job. Just add raindrops. <laughs> like, that's yeah, like... <laughs> rainy bike. Oh my gosh, don't give them ideas. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, uh, Luke's here. It's Luke Finch here. Hello, Luke. Oh, Luke Finch is here. Hello. <laughs> Oh, there he is. It's the banoffee cake guy, right? Oh, banoffee. Yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah, the delicious banoffee cake. 
Greetings, I shall promptly depart, but fret not, I will, I will return. <laughs> Enjoy whatever you're going to go do. Yeah, if you filled out the Google form, the Google um, bit.ly link, then we have got your submission and we will look at them. We could probably update, update you guys in a couple minutes yeah. on new submissions. Eileen Wong says, enjoying your art, Jenny. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Eileen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're just clicking away over there. Yeah, just clicking on the hotkeys. This mm -hmm. is what I do for eight to ten hours a day. <laughs> Feels good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, honestly. I mean, I'm really grateful to be able to work in the art field. Yeah. Because um, I remember, like, going to school, my parents were like, don't go to art. You know, like, oh, they actually said that to you? Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. Like, How did uh, you convince them that it's, it was right? <laughs> yeah. I'm just very stubborn. You're like, well, I'm going. <laughs> it's like, so. I'm going, so <laughs> I'm going to try to do art. I mean, like, since I went to a public school, they'd be like, are you sure you don't want to switch majors? Oh, <laughs> there's a lot of other options. But uh, <laughs> I'm really happy that I went through with it, because mm -hmm. I'm really grateful. Yeah, I mean, at least you went to public school, so it probably wasn't as expensive as a like art Crazy center. <laughs> art school. Definitely. I mean, art center is really great, though. Like, mm -hmm. what resources they provide for their students. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. I like mm -hmm. these little knickknacks. Yeah, look at those. What are they? It's like a little... I have no idea. It's acorn bottles. I don't know. Cute. One Oscar says, hi, Jenny. Super happy for you. Ah, hi, Oscar. <laughs> are you at work right now? <laughs> Get back, Get to, back work, to work, Oscar. <laughs> Mark says they're from Ire he's from Ireland. It's always rainy, rainy there, so it's very inspiring. <laughs> <laughs> one plus one equals question mark. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do graphic design, Luke. Do science, but look at me now, Mom. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> How you doing, Luke? Any new exciting video projects you're working on? First time here. This is awesome from Russ Garcia. Welcome, Russ. Oh, welcome, Russ. Mm -hmm. And Galeta from Peru. Good stuff. Mm. Greetings. Thanks so much. Thanks for being here. We already had our little time where everyone was sounding off where they were from. But if you haven't told us yet, what country are you from? Yeah. What's going on? What time is it? It's uh, noon here. My stomach just growled. Y yep. You can see it. <laughs> low key. And <laughs> low key stomach growl, a little hungry. <laughs> Alexandre says north of France. Very cool. Wow. Yeah. And Helen says that she tried to implement your style into her submission. Oh, I'm really excited then. Mm hmm. Oh, that's so, that's so nice to hear. <laughs> Yeah, and in case you guys are just coming in for the lunch hour, welcome. We are celebrating digital painting and illustration this week. So we have four amazing illustrators here. We've got Jenny, Ramon, Corey, and Sophie. Uh, Corey and Sophie will be in the next couple of streams. And if you are tuning in now and want to check out the other the streams that have already happened, if you go to the Creative Cloud YouTube page, um, you can watch all of the recaps and the streams there. Yeah. Right. So every day you, well, for the first two days, you've been working on this illustration. Yeah. Do you think you'll continue to work on it for the next day or maybe start something new? What are you thinking? Hmm. I think like tomorrow, maybe I'll just finish up the background, mm -hmm. do any extra compositing. Um, maybe the last hour could be just like a very quick illustration of yeah. anything that anyone has the suggestions for. Definitely. That's what um, Sophie was working on yesterday. Kind of yeah. just asked the chat for suggestions and went for it. There was a donut involved and a, <laughs> and a turtle. Yeah. Very anyone, exciting. Yeah. If anyone has ideas of what they would like to see, like, mm -hmm. definitely throw them my way. Yeah. Do a little backseat driving, backseat designing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Joseph says they caught your start of the piece yesterday and they've been watching it progress and it's amazing. Uh, thank you guys. It's yeah. been actually kind of interesting trying to figure out like how to like give advice, talk and like paint. And mm -hmm. I'm just like, I don't know if I'm doing this good. Oh but. <laughs> man, yeah, you're quick. Actually, it's really surprising. Like people who have never live streamed before or talked while they worked, it's hard. Yeah, it is pretty difficult. I'm mm -hmm. just like, cause then you're a little less focused. Like all your, your, my attention is being like ping pong back and forth. Yes, it's hard to try out new things when you're live streaming. Yes. Because you can't, you don't have time to think really. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Mm -hmm. It's like, with this piece I'm like trying to just go like autopilot with it. Uh, so I don't 
have to be like, okay. No, that's good. That's a good reason to have like a set style too. You can just kind of knock things out. Yeah, quickly. yeah. Um, and it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Adobe Live team back there <laughs> cracking into some granola bars. <laughs> <laughs> All 98 of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, what? Man, people are from Sweden, Germany. Someone also said, I think it was Alexandre said, um, or Alexander, um, that they are practicing their English by listening to the streams. Oh, and chatting wow. in chat. Yeah. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's super cool. Mm -hmm. I never would have known. Your English is very good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Darren says, I love to randomly hear them doing things in the background. <laughs> mysterious, mysterious crew. Mysterious, mysterious crew in the background. <laughs> and granola bars. Huge crew. <laughs> <laughs> Miriam says, this looks amazing. Ah, thank you. I'm gonna work on pulling up some new submissions that we can take a peek at. Yeah. English, the only language you need is design. Visual design. <laughs> that visual language. Do you have anything that you feel like you just know how to draw, like like the back of your hand? Like it's just part oh, of your visual like language? Honestly, like this anime girl character yeah <laughs> like i draw her pretty often it's pretty like or like i i mean like i've said yet yesterday i'm really influenced like by miyazaki's work mm -hmm. so like doing characters in that kind of style um anything i can draw on the back i usually when i try to make up like portraits and stuff like like a real life face yeah <laughs> like the I don't, I don't know how to explain but uh like you feel like you can draw a face. Yeah. <laughs> pretty, pretty dang good, like. <laughs> like uh, that's for usually my go-to when I'm like doodling and stuff. Like if I'm just like, oh, I'll just draw a face. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. I always draw faces. Yeah, yeah. Faces, yeah. Those are usually my go-to. Mm -hmm. um, I still, I think for me, like I'm still, I still need to practice on like doing poses more. Because mm -hmm. I'm just like, I haven't gone to a figure drawing class in so long. Right. So it's like when I see like storyboard artists and like, animators mm -hmm. i'm just like how the heck are you like coming up with that oh angle? my gosh yeah. like how do you see that angle like how do you see that leg going at that camera like yeah. from that angle it's like i don't I, my mind doesn't work like that no and it's so like it just flows out of their hand in just a couple lines yeah it's like um all righty then it's so distressing i'm, I'm, so, I'm so distressed <laughs> by how good it is yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> um heidi wants to know is there anything that you want to get better at so maybe like knowing perspective off the top of your head uh, there's a lot of things I want to get better at I need to get better at everything yeah. <laughs> it's just like I feel like I have to improve like all the time I guess that's the thing with art it's just like you always feel like I always need to keep growing yeah and it's like it's also like part anxiety but it's always exciting because it's like you're always learning mm -hmm. stuff and you always want to learn stuff but um I mean for me I like I said like I want to get better at like posing characters mm -hmm. and that kind of stuff um I feel like I still need to get better at lighting like like there's so many things I don't understand yeah yet. right um I want to get better at actually character design too because mm. I mean like recently working at my show seeing the character designers that we work with um I work with uh, Mike Bear and Taylor Krahenbull um they're amazing artists I think Mike had worked at Warner Brothers previously right. and Taylor had worked at Disney TV, and I'm just like, when I see their work, I'm just like, oh my god, like, mm -hmm. I, like, I, I can't think in that way, like, when I see their character designs, like, their shape language, and how they really, like, dedicate a lot of devotion to how they think about the character mm -hmm. and their context, I'm like, oh man, I should, I should start learning about that too. Yeah, and it's a process, you're always learning. Mm, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Drawing cars, I want to get better at drawing cars. Yeah, <laughs> just modes of transportation are so hard. Yeah, it's Those like axles. Forget about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have some uh, submissions that we can take a peek at because yeah. you guys are amazing and keep sending them in as it um, progresses. So here's one. It's like a little rain dance. Oh. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. Look at that guy. Oh, look at that guy. He's so happy to be. Yeah. In the Actually, rain. I love the colors though. Yeah. And, like yeah. the little drips that are popping off of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Variations of primary colors. Yeah, <laughs> my favorite. I, don't know. I love cool. this. Mm -hmm. This is so cool. 
Let's see if we can just look at it full. There we go. I love mm -hmm. yeah, the composition. Yeah, it's very dynamic, but simple. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is one we already looked at. Love that little shy monster. Mm -hmm. Ooh. This mm, is this like is really nice. Really abstract. Mm -hmm. It looks like it's a reflection in a puddle. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, there's a person running. Very nice. Good job, Eric. Ooh. Wow. Spooky. This reminds me of Don't Starve. It's I... a video game. Like this looks like the content or concept art for it. Oh. Very it must be spooky. very cool then for yeah. like a video game. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll check that out. Yeah, it's cool. It looks mm -hmm. it looks like little like paper figures running oh, around. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, and this looks like a really intricate like shadow puppet. Is it like a platform game or? Um, I think you can play it on PlayStation, PC. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Check it out. Yeah, you I've should. been meaning to play Cuphead. Oh. It's really hard though. Yeah, it's hard <laughs> but beautiful. Look at this rainy space day. Wow, this is so cool. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of like, like Porter Robinson art. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. yeah, I love the glow. It mm -hmm. seems like they found a little inspiration from you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe that's just how they make art. Or maybe not. <laughs> Either way, it's great. Yeah, very cool. Is this like a composite yeah. of an image on a cup with a thunderstorm? Very, very nice. Cool. Ooh. Oh, this is so nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love the glow effects that are happening here. Yeah, that kind of warmth and mm -hmm. that yellow mm -hmm. down there. Oh, cute. Oh, this is so cute. It looks like Coraline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yay. I would want this on like a stationary notebook or something. Mm. Yeah. You got to mark it. Uh huh, uh huh. There you go. Very nice. Good job, you guys. Good job. Yeah, keep them coming in. We will keep looking at them. And you have, let's see, about 20 ish minutes to get them in. 25 technically to get them in for the contest for today so yes. you have let's see two more chances to win after this stream so three total for the theme of rainy day and all you have to do is make an illustration based on the theme rainy day with illustrator or photoshop and then share the link to your artwork either via the bit.ly link that you see on the screen or if you go to be.net slash live, probably where you're watching us from, that's the best way to watch us, go to the contest tab and the link is there. Keep them coming. Keep them coming, guys. Mm-hmm. Very excited. Yeah, and we still have more in the in the spreadsheet, so we'll just keep keep pulling them up. If you didn't see yours, you'll see it next time. Nice. So Caesar says the last, the Coraline one, reminds him of the game Little Nightmares. Little you Nightmares? No, I haven't. Me neither. Yeah. But I like the aesthetic, if that's the aesthetic of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I really like I really like the style of uh, Monument Valley. Mm. I think that one's a really popular yes, one. Yes, I can see that. The light is really beautiful. Mm -hmm. in that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you look at that game, like that all, like the gradients in that mm -hmm. game. Oh, it's so beautiful. Yeah, so if you've never heard of Monument Valley, it's like a puzzle game. Yeah, it's like a puzzle it. platform. Like an isometric yeah. platform puzzle game that's super beautiful and has a lot of levels. Mm -hmm. It's like surprising the depth that they got into that game, having it still be so beautiful. Mm -hmm. And it's really simple too, like the style. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah. it's so beautiful. I know that uh, studio, I think. I think Ken Wong's the one that art directed oh. it, but then he's making a new game called Florence, I think. Ooh. But it's like supposed to be like a slice of like game about like love and life and that. I'm just like, yay! Oh. It's so cool when I hear like indie game studios making like kind of like different content. Oh yeah, because um, there's such a formula right now that mm -hmm. games are, and you gotta break it somehow. Yeah, you really do. Welcome, Daniel. He says that you just logged into Behance and now I'm here. That's Welcome, great. Daniel. Happy accident. So if you, you're new to the uh, Adobe Live weekly show, and welcome. So this is a show that happens every single week. Every week there's a different theme. This week just happens to be the best theme, which is illustration and digital painting. So yeah, we bring on amazing <laughs> artists and designers. We have Jenny, we have Sophie, Romal, and Corey this week. Um, and it happens every week, so make sure to check us out. You can subscribe to the channel or just come on over whenever you're on Behance. be.net slash live is the best link to watch us from. You can click on your friends' uh, Behance portfolios, people in chat, click on their name, you can see their portfolio, make new friends, grow your community, join the contest, um, and also look at the schedule so you can see what's coming up next and when your favorite designers are gonna be live. Oh, Ellie has a deadline, gotta go. Bye, Ellie. Good luck. <laughs> <See ya. laughs> 
Mitch, is it your birthday? Happy birthday. Uh, happy birthday, Mitch. Yay. <laughs> It was my dad's birthday a couple of days ago, and I saw how many Facebook notifications he got, and I was astounded. It's like, you are more popular than me. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> Carlotta submitted an animation for your illustration. Does that work, too? We'll see what Adobe Live team has to say about that. Mm. But I love myself some a little animation, animated yeah. illustration. I love animated illustration. Mm -hmm. It's like the best kind. I feel like that's like a pretty like popular medium too. Mm -hmm. All right. So the website is be.net slash live. But if you just go to Behance and click on the live tab, you'll get to us too. But be.net slash live will bring you right here. You can go ahead and just favorite that on your bookmarks and boom. Set it as your homepage even. Why not? Get crazy. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Bartos? Oh, Carlotta, okay, so we showed your stream. Nice. We showed your submission. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, there's another stream. Yeah, <laughs> I, I guess it was a stream since it was animated. Yeah. <laughs> Way to go, Mitch Smith. You got another great year to look forward to. Yeah, Donnie, that's so encouraging. Happy birthday, Mitch. And welcome, Donnie. I don't think I've seen your name yet. Thanks for hanging out. And if you guys haven't submitted your um, contest entry yet, you have pretty much officially 20 minutes left to do so for this stream. Um, you can always wait and submit it later during maybe Corey or Sophie's stream, but uh, 20 minutes and we'll have Jenny look over all of the submissions that have been put in during the last stream. And she will pick one winner and that winner will win one year of Creative Cloud for free. You'll get it. We promise we'll send it to you. <laughs> I love these contests. It's such a great way to share your work, get some feedback, and see other people's work too. Mm. Mm -hmm. Donnie is a lurker. It's okay, you can be a lurker. <laughs> Feel free, Kendra. Feel free. Oh, I don't I don't stream online actually, Marianne, but I feel like I should. Yeah, you're like, really good at it. Oh you're natural. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I, I feel like artists like go on Twitch a lot too. Mm -hmm. to yeah, stream. I streamed on Twitch. Oh really? Yeah, oh. yeah. It's a great community. Everyone's super nice over there. But maybe in the future. Heck yeah! Know. It's pretty easy to set up. You get some free software and a webcam, or you don't even need a webcam. You can just capture your screen. Mm. Good to go. Yeah. <clears throat> we love Jenny's work. Greetings from Brazil. Hey, a studio pump. Boom. Oh. Hey guys. <laughs> Pump. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. I like how it's like pum. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like their little like Pokemon yeah. catchphrase. <laughs> <laughs> how does Adobe choose people to stream live? Actually, Michael uh, touched on this yesterday. So if you are interested in streaming live or have some someone in mind that you think would make a great streamer, go ahead and follow the uh, Adobe Live. Um, portfolio on Behance and you can send a message and share your portfolio, share someone else's work and go from there. We're always looking for awesome people. <clears throat> Daniel says he streams a bit on YouTube but OBS is messing up. Yeah, OBS is the software that you oh. one of the softwares you can use. Um, it's a little glitchy sometimes. Mm. But nice, Daniel. How do you like it on YouTube? Do you find you get a lot of traction, or do you like it because it just goes straight to your YouTube uh, channel? Caesar wants to know, sorry if this has already been answered, but who are your favorite artists? Ah, uh, I think I touched on this yesterday, mm -hmm. but I feel like I didn't like specifically say like every one of my influences, but I mean, obviously Hayao Miyazaki. Mm -hmm. I, I'm gonna keep mentioning this like all throughout the stream. <laughs> Um, he's one of my biggest influences, like style-wise, and just like his philosophy about art and stuff. I really look towards his stuff for yeah. inspiration. What um, is his philosophy that you like so much? There's a lot. Just yeah. like how the way he wants to connect with audiences, yeah. um, the way he evokes these emotions of nostalgia, um, 
and which is like something that I'm like a very nostalgic person. Yeah. I think that's so sentimental about Good. like the smallest things. Yeah. Um, you probably are a hoarder. Yeah. <laughs> I'm can't a get hoarder. rid of that movie ticket. Like I save like receipts and stuff, yeah. even from like days like that I like really like were precious to me. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, with that, um, the way he like. I think what, what Miyazaki said in one of his novels, uh, um, I read this book, Starting Point, which is like a compilation of like his interviews mm-hmm. and that kind of stuff. And he's just like, he wants to remind children that it's good to be alive in this world. Yeah. Yeah, and it's like, I mean, in this this world that's going into shambles, I think it's, you need that kind of like optimism. Right, mm-hmm. we're here. So that's like the philosophy part of it. Um, I also really love Kevin Dart. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I think if it's not obvious in my work, it's yeah. like he's one of when I first saw his short film Forms of Nature, I was like, oh my what god, is this, this magic is like next level? <laughs> um, yeah, um, I really love um, Kevin Dart's work and like his uh, boutique studio Chromosphere. Mm. Um, all the artists working there are like amazing. Um, and I mean, I take a lot of inspiration from just like older artists. Like if I, if they, if going back to traditional stuff, um, John Singer Sargent. Oh yeah. Um, just like the way he thinks about art and that kind of stuff is really influential to me. Mm-hmm. Um, Makoto Shinkai Ooh. is also an mm-hmm. anime director. <laughs> yeah. But uh, he recently did the film um, Your Name. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I actually watched that on an airplane. Oh, did you? I was you? like, how do you have this? I love this. Yeah, <laughs> I love that movie so mm-hmm. much. My, um, oh, my God, I'm so annoying with it, though, because like, I, I like love that movie. Mm-hmm. Um, I like listen to the soundtrack like nearly every day. It's <laughs> like, beautiful. Honestly. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. it's a really good soundtrack. Like the music. Yeah. And then, like my boyfriend's probably like annoyed at me because I always <laughs> play it in the car. <laughs> He's like, I get it. You're nostalgic. <laughs> <laughs> You're just some sentimental. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, other artists. I don't know. Like my friends always influence me. Definitely. Mm-hmm. They're the best. Like yeah. I feel like friends are always the best artists. Yeah. And just the best yeah, people. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so which city are we in now? We are in cloudy San Francisco. Yeah. What city are you in now? <laughs> Wayne says we need to do a podcast talking about art and nerd light topics. Nerd light topics? I love that genre, nerd light. Yeah, nerd light. Like, don't get too deep into it. Yeah. Just talk about talk about the stuff that normal people will understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, put it in a context where people would be interested. Yeah, right. Alexander, if you go to, if you're watching from be.net slash live, you can click on the schedule tab and you should be able to see um, the calendar of events. There you go. So we have 15 minutes to get your contest submissions in, you guys. Crazy. Oh, you thought we were in San Jose? Nope. So there are Adobe offices in San Jose, San Francisco, Seattle, where else? DC, New York and all over the globe, too. So many offices. Right? I know, I'm surprised there isn't one in Los Angeles. Yeah. (laughs) I guess two for California is is good enough. Yeah, (laughs) that is true. Yeah. Oh, nice, Mitch. Utah. Still from Utah. (laughs) Do we have a community in Rome or any event soon? Or just Milan? I'm not sure if we have anything in Rome. We definitely have people who work for Adobe living in Italy. That's so cool. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, this it's such a global com- company. I really love it. Italy also. Yeah, very cool. Oh, Adobe office in Lehigh. Actually, the Adobe office in Lehigh, Utah is beautiful. I don't know if you've ever been there, Mitch. I, I've seen pictures. It's like, oh, look at those mountains. Love it. <laughs> Get a Canada office and hire me, boys <laughs> and girls. <laughs> We have some people working in Ottawa, some video people. Not sure about anybody else though. Yeah, Rufus is from Italy. There you go, Ryan. So Jenny, what are your tips on getting your work noticed from Madison? Hmm. I don't, <laughs> it's always such a hard thing because then the internet's such a mixed bag. It's like, like sometimes it is luck and sometimes, mm-hmm. I mean, Posting consistently is also really important. Um, and I think 
really honing your craft is really important too. like keep trying I don't know I mean I like went through so many different styles before I was start feeling really comfortable with like the process I have now mm -hmm. um but posting consistently on and on multiple platforms is really important um like don't just post on Instagram like post on Behance or yeah. like post on Dribble or post on Twitter, which I don't post on Twitter. I just use Twitter for memes. But yeah, that's where like <laughs> you get kind of weird. Yeah. You get weird. <laughs> but um, show your yeah. true colors. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Um, yeah, posting on a lot of platforms. Um, and yeah, just trying your best, I guess, figuring out what your style is yeah. and what your audience is. And look who it is. Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> it's Michelle. <laughs> um, there's an Adobe office in Seattle, too. I have been to a few Photoshop user groups meetings there. Oh, awesome, Caesar. That's great. Um, my old team, actually. Some of the people are up in Seattle. That's great. So how do you find time to post so consistently? Do you stock your work and, or do you do, like, dailies? What's your um, technique? It's not like I... I don't know. I don't have a really systematic process for it. It's, I usually, I got into a flow of just like, oh, I want to make stuff all the time. So yeah. It's like, yeah, I just make stuff constantly. Mm -hmm. um, not that I post everything, but yeah, it's really hard to actually get into that flow of things, actually, because it's like, I remember being in school, I was like, I don't want to make anything. Right yeah, now. you're like, I have to make things, so yeah. I don't want to make anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And sometimes I feel like you put, a, like, people would put a lot of pressure on themselves, like, okay, the next thing I have make is, like, has to be really good. Yeah. Um, I know we talked life. about this yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and then you posted that beautiful dog doodle. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, you know what? The world's just going to get a dog, <laughs> and it's going to be great. It made me feel better because I liked it but it didn't have to be, like, the best technical thing in the whole entire world. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so, I don't know, finding motivation to, like, keep making stuff every day. It's like you just, you literally just have to, like, push yourself, like, every day. They're, like, push-ups. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, like, sometimes you don't want to, like, make art every day. Yeah. But you don't want to do push-ups every day either, but sometimes you just have to do a thousand push-ups every day. Yeah. And in the end, like, when I actually get into it I'm just like oh yeah it's like I'm really happy when I make art <laughs> I feel like you always are yeah, it's yeah. Like you're always happy you did it but it's like when you once you get past the intimidation and self-doubt mm -hmm. and all that kind of stuff um, and you get into the flow of it it's like and sometimes like even when you work on something like you won't get into the flow of it and maybe you should take a break and like yep. maybe take a nap and then wake up with fresh eyes and maybe you look at your, your, the piece that you're working on and say like, oh I can change this because mm -hmm. sometimes if you look at your piece too long mm -hmm. for a very like extensive amount of time like you start like overworking it and you're not yes. doing anything productive with mm -hmm. it um, you're just making the same mistakes over and over again right. so when you take a break um, you can look with it, at it with like fresh eyes and, and also having other people look at your work yeah, definitely. Getting kind of some feedback. Mm -hmm. If you're looking for it. Sometimes it's nice when you're not even looking for feedback, but yeah. people give it to you. But sometimes it's yeah. like, just wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait till I open it up for comments. Um, I was going to say something, but I forget. So I'm not going to say it now. <laughs> Think. Brain blast. Huh? Yeah. Oh, I was going to say it's like a very particular balance between forcing yourself and like, building this habit within yourself to make things but also not putting too much pressure on yourself yeah it's a, it's a fine balance because mm -hmm. then I mean there's a lot of artists who end up just getting burnt out because then they're just working all the time yeah and like sometimes I feel like I'm getting burnt out because yeah. it's just like like with full-time work and like sometimes picking up freelance and like making time for personal work like it's easy to just like get very disillusioned right and yeah. also just like be a human too yeah like, yeah I also exactly need to eat and hang out with my boyfriend yeah. or whatever yeah, exactly like, yeah um, need to play with my dog every day at least 16 times yeah yeah exactly <laughs> um, it's like you don't want to be a robot about it either no um, I guess at the end of the day like when I do fall into stuff I'm just like oh like I just really like making art and I should just always remember like mm -hmm. this is for like my love of making art and wanting to share that with people. Yeah. Um, and not f for 
some other reason like yeah like it's not like I made art because like I really want to like get a job or something mm-hmm. I don't know. make tons of money yeah it's not for money <laughs> like you don't go into this field thinking I'm gonna make like six figures yeah um, don't be thinking that way you'll be real sad yeah we have so many entries you guys they are rolling in and you have about seven minutes to get them in and right at 12:45, we are cutting it off and we're gonna make Jenny make a really quick decision. Oh no! On who wins? <laughs> we're gonna blast through them all. Okay. Yeah, but going back to like the reminding yourself that you get to draw. Like I just went to a talk that Tad Carpenter did, who's an awesome illustrator, and he's like, "You guys, you need to remember, like you get to do this." Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's just like on days when I'm like really tired. Yeah. Like I'm just like, oh, I don't want to do this right now. But it's just like, wait, I'm painting mm-hmm. for my job. Yeah. Or, I'm drawing for my job, and that's amazing. Yeah, right. Like, don't forget why you started this. Don't forget that you're a little kid and you love doodling, or if you got into it when you're a little older. Yeah. Like, don't forget how you felt. Don't forget, guys. Mm-mm. Never forget. <laughs> Never forget. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we can start kind of going through some of these submissions a couple minutes early since they are already in the queue and see what you think about them yeah yeah but keep sending them in you still have a couple minutes about six minutes left um and we'll open them up as they come take a peek you don't you're not done with these yet but next time that's all right liana you have two more chances today two more and then four more tomorrow so that's quite a bit helen wants to know do you stick to one brush while you're drawing or do you like to switch it up um usually with I mean, talking about the initial sketch, I usually use the 2B pencil brush. Also Kyle's pack. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, these are the main brushes that I use. Uh, the Belgian Comics one is for like, if I really want to just like put down graphic shapes, but with organic edges. Like if it's something that I can't really achieve with just the polygonal lasso tool. Mm-hmm. Um, but when I do the initial sketch, I usually just use the 2B pencil. Um, I think we were talking about this yesterday. It's just like, uh, don't overwhelm yourself with like a lot of brushes because then that can end up being more confusing. Mm -hmm. Um, And it's already confusing trying to make an illustration. So it's just like boiling down your resources and knowing which ones are more, most effective for you, I think is really important. Yeah. So yeah, I stick to one, a few brushes. I like to make this weird like Chimera monster conglomerate where I use all of the brushes to make something and then Uh I decide if I hate the brush and then I delete it. So it's yeah, a good way for yeah, me to yeah. decide. No, that's actually like a really good point. Mm-hmm. It's like when I ever I download a new brush pack, it's like I just try a bunch mm-hmm. and then I'm just like delete the ones that you don't need. Yeah. Like because then you're not going to use them. Right. <laughs> Can it be helpful to sketch it on paper first or is it the same? Um, sometimes it is helpful to just sketch it on paper. Um, I do do a lot of like thumbnail sketches in my. I don't know if it, I don't know. <laughs> my sketchbook, but uh, I have a lot of just very small thumbnails that I sketch out, and um, yeah, it's, sometimes it's helpful to just get away from the screen because I feel like with this, I'm a little more like, like everything is more calculated for me, whereas when I'm just in the sketchbook, I'm just very being very whimsical and organic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, either way, yeah, I think it is helpful to sketch on paper for her first if you're just trying to start an illustration. Definitely. Yeah, we have for this one. Yeah, I started with a sketch and a sketchbook actually. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, nice. But then you kind of just took that idea and brought it in. Yeah. Very cool. We can start looking at submissions. Um, We have still more coming. Still have a couple minutes, but we have a bunch to look at. This one's really cute. Aww. I know. (laughs) It reminds me of a children's book. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it has kind of some nice watercolor paper texture Mm -hmm. down here. Very cool. Let's check out this one. Ooh, Ooh, very editorial. Yeah, I really love this. Yeah, I want that headband. I like want to uh-huh. make it. <laughs> I like the feeling I get from this. Yeah. Like, I can get a sense of what the person is feeling. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Definitely. Aww. Aww. <laughs> I love say, the way the rain's Aww. hitting off the duck's back. Yeah, it's right? like, oh, it's so beautiful. Mm-hmm. And it's a nice use of like a very specific brush, mm-hmm. I think. Very nice. On to the next dark rain. Oh wow. oh, wow. It's like a full. Oh, that's really big. I like the full composition. Yeah. It's really cool. Mm-hmm. 
This reminds me of like the old school Illustrator and Photoshop mm. drawings. Oh boy. Wow. It's intense. Wow. This is so book cover to me. Like Great Gatsby. Yes, <laughs> yeah. definitely. It's mm -hmm. very cool. Cute. Oh. oh, I love all the ducks. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. This has a nice shape character too. Mm -hmm. Very whimsical. Nice job, Chelsea. Cool. Ooh, I love the mm -hmm. way the reminds me of like Gustav Klimt almost. Just oh. like the way the mm -hmm. branches are weaving around yeah. and making a pattern. Definitely. Very cool. Yes. Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> I can't tell if he loves it or hates it. Like, he either loves the rain or hates it so much. <laughs> but it's really nice. I love the texture in this um, yellow, especially. It's awesome. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. Very beautiful. Yeah, nice job, Heather. Mm -hmm. Very nice painterly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Got that perspective that we were talking about. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, traditional. Mm-hmm. Oh. Very cool. Nice use of traditional medium. Uh-huh. Media. Ooh, animation? Oh. Oh. Oh, mm -hmm. oh I see. Don't look if you're sensitive to flashing lights. Yeah. Uh, warning. Warning. <laughs> this reminds me of that scene in Naruto where they're building <laughs> a bridge in the rain. <laughs> And that's why I like it. <laughs> start singing the opening theme song. No. <laughs> cool. And then we're back to the start. So we'll look at another batch in just a minute or two because mm -hmm. you only have one more minute to get your submissions in. One more minute, yes, guys. So get them in and we'll look at all of them all at once. And Jenny will Yes. I will do my best to make the most thoughtful. <laughs> informed decision yeah and like adobe live team said we do get a lot of submissions and we're doing this all on the fly so thank you for your patience really appreciate it yeah so many great entries agreed keep them coming and we are nearing the end of the actual stream so oh, how are you no. feeling about your piece you're still gonna go for the background tomorrow you think yeah i think i mean the background should be pretty quick since mm -hmm. it's in the background usually like you just pop in a bunch of like colors that make <laughs> would kind of like represent buildings and then blur it mm -hmm. and then you can get that kind of depth and then maybe just working on these little items that would be on her desk yeah um, the little fine details yeah and if i have extra time Maybe I'll open up to the audience and be like, hey, you want me to draw a strawberry? I'll draw a strawberry. I'll draw you a strawberry <laughs> right now. Yeah. <laughs> or if I have any other uh, illustration ideas, maybe I'll get started on that. But. Yeah. There you go. Uh, the host's name. Hi, I'm Kathleen Julie. Julie. My name is not Kathleen Julie. <laughs> Julie. My name is Kathleen. Nice to see you. You can find me at Kathleen Illustrated on the internet. That's where I exist solely where I exist. <laughs> Just the internet. I'm a hologram. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually AR. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh my gosh, this is some elaborate <laughs> thing that you've built. <laughs> We've got Jenny Cam going on. We can see all of your hotkeys going. Oh yes, uh, Jenny Cam's going on. <laughs> no pressure. No pressure, don't mess up your hotkeys. <laughs> <laughs> I always mess up my hotkeys like I'm just like fumbling around all yeah, the time. Yeah, and you just wait for something to happen. Yeah, and I'm You're just like, like oh, that's I pressed wrong, the wrong one. That's wrong, that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, so we're done. All the contest entries should be in. We're gonna wait for the list to populate a little more and then we can look at all of them. And we only have about nine minutes left total with Jenny for today. Uh, so sad, that went so fast. Yeah, that felt like a lot quicker than mm -hmm. last, like yesterday. And then yeah. tomorrow's gonna feel like it's gonna be over before you know it. Oh no. Yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. Um, we're gonna check out some contest entrants in just a minute, and Jenny's gonna pick the winner of a Creative Cloud subscription. Yeah. So cool. And if you don't get picked this time, or you still haven't submitted, don't worry, you have two more chances today, and then four tomorrow to enter our rainy day. Well, today's the rainy day theme. <laughs> tomorrow will be a totally new theme. Um, but today, if you make an illustration based on the theme of rainy day, with Photoshop or Illustrator 2018. You'll just submit it to us via our bit.ly link, or if you go to be.net slash live and go to the contest tab, you should be able to submit it there. Michael is behind this. 
Michael is behind this. Michael is behind this. <laughs> He's the mastermind. This plot. <laughs> oh, what's going to happen, Michael? <laughs> this AR plot? Hologram <laughs> plot? <laughs> oh, the audio plot. I see. All right, so... Jenny, dot, 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 what? Dot, 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 your Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, your Twitter. It's the same handle as my Instagram. Yeah, maybe also... someone in chat can say it. It's... Or maybe you can write it. I'll just write it out, I guess. Um, Do it the analog Oh, there we go. But, yeah, my Twitter is literally just me. Like, it's where I put all my memes. (laughs) Like, (laughs) like I don't use it for art. I should probably. I should probably start posting art on there. That's where all the good stuff is. Yeah. All right, so I think we have all of our our submissions in. Okay. Spreadsheet is not being formulated anymore, so we're just going to go with it. Okay. So this is by Anvu, I think. Mm. Is this supposed to be you? I am. I guess. <laughs> Potentially. That is probably me. Yeah. Very nice. Thanks, An. Mm-hmm. Then we have this one by Kevina. Very cool. Nice texture in the background. Mm. See the whole thing? Nice. Yes. Very cool. Oh, this is an animated version. Oh, wow. wow. Look at that. That's so cool. Yeah. You know how hard it is to animate a cat's tail? <laughs> those are those are like pretty finicky things. Right. <laughs> and I wonder if this is like a cat on a rainy day. Like this is what they do. Yeah. Rainy day vibes. Frog. Very cool. Nice. It's a smart nice. looking frog. Mm-hmm. Got a tree. And rainy day tree? Rainy, rainy day tree. Rainy day tree. <laughs> <laughs> it's growing. It's growing really well today. Well, very nice. Mm. Oh, this is Yuri, oh, who this. just got their first internship. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, this is beautiful. Mm-hmm. Very nice. It's kind of inspired maybe by your piece. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. Oh, my God. I was actually thinking of doing a piece like this oh. one. Oh. <laughs> yeah, beat me to it, Yuri. Beat me to it. Oh, nice. Very atmospheric. Mm, I love this. Mm-hmm. And keep, keep in mind, like, you're seeing any that you sure. you think might be winners? This is by Ming Zhang. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah. I love the shines in her eyes. Yes. And the, just the texture in general, on mm. the skin especially. That little blurry mouth. Mm-hmm. So nice. Oh, look at that. Water drop. Yeah, very abstract. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Very cool. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. So cute. <laughs> so cool. Yeah, she looks like a drow. Uh. Very cool. Very cute. And I love the vector shapes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cool, and then we've already seen that one, so I'll flick through the ones that we've already seen, too, just so you get a reminder. Yeah, yeah. I definitely... I th- you like this one, I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Duckling. Cool vector eyeballs. Another duckling. The guy who <laughs> loves rain. So many great entries, you guys. Yeah. I love that one. Yeah, I remember you like that one. Yeah. That one is cool. Just a couple more. All right, which ones are at the top of your list? I really am biased towards this one, the this Shy one? Rain Monster. Okay. It's just the execution of it. It's really beautiful, and I mean those. I mean all those entries are really awesome. Mm-hmm. So you're thinking? That is so hard. Is there? Another, I really do like this yeah, one this too. Yeah, this one too. I like how it could look like a, like an electronic like music album cover yeah, or something. Yeah, definitely. Mm. All right, so these are probably like the top three that you were most interested in. Yeah. Will it be this one, this one, or this one? It has to be the Shy Rain Monster. Shy Rain I love monster. this. I love that. Woohoo! Yeah. Everyone is so talented. Helen, you are so right. So congratulations yeah. to the creator of yeah. Shy Rain Monster. Woohoo! Good job. Good job, everybody. Yeah, so many variations on one theme. Mm-hmm. The lemon tree. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Congrats, definitely. So thank you again, Jenny, for being here with us. Thank you, Kathleen. Yeah, it's and great being in the here again. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> and being in the spotlight of having to pick mm-hmm. a winner. Super hard and difficult. Again, if you didn't win, just keep submitting, uh, take treasure. part in the contests. Yeah, congratulations, everybody. So you're going to be continuing this illustration. Mm -hmm. Just final touches, I guess. Um, I think I have all the main elements down, but I'll probably finish this and then maybe the last hour open up to suggestions and maybe just do some on the fly. Very cool. Thank you so much. Congratulations. It's beautiful. Yay. Good job, everybody.
Really appreciate you being here and stick around. We're going to have Corey up next and then we'll have Sophie after that. So we'll be back in just a couple minutes. Yes. Bye guys. Thank you so much.